Muzzle training is key for many dogs, whether they need to go to the vet for health care, get training to be good canine citizens, or even for basic grooming needs. This video will show a quick muzzle introduction to a dog who's never before worn a muzzle, and then another dog who's become used to a muzzle over the previous couple of weeks. The goal of this video is to show you how you can introduce a muzzle in a non-traumatic way that will allow for handling of a skittish or even aggressive dog, or maybe a dog who just isn't comfortable at the vet's office. There are two main types of muzzles. The basket muzzle is the muzzle of choice for trainers. Though it is more expensive than the other types, it allows for the best safety for both dogs and people because it allows the dogs to pant to cool themselves and also for people because a dog in a properly fitted basket muzzle can't bite. The other type of muzzle is a mesh muzzle. These are common and less expensive but don't allow the dogs to pant and because they have some give, it's possible for the dogs to still nip with their front teeth. Now, let's see how to start to introduce a muzzle. Meet Envy. She's a three-year-old dog who has never before had any experience with a muzzle, and she can sometimes be shy of new things. Notice how I allow her to sniff the muzzle first, before even trying to attach it to her. The first step is done on her terms, without me doing much of anything. I'm putting a tasty treat just inside the muzzle and extending it to her, again allowing her to sniff it and take the treat. I'm going to do this a few more times, then I'll start to put the treat further and further back into the muzzle, each time gauging her comfort level with putting her snout into the muzzle. Keep in mind, this is real time with no video editing, but if you have a very timid or skittish dog. This first step could take many more minutes or hours over several sessions. It's important to be patient, so gauge your own dog. Each dog is different, but expect a point of frustration to occur at some point. For one dog, it may be right at first. For another, it might be later in the process. It should also be noted that trying this when your dog is already stressed is not a good idea and will only hurt future muzzle training. Start off when your dog is relaxed and happy. Once it's clear she has no problems putting her snout into the muzzle, then it's time for the next step. Now that Envy will put her own snout into the muzzle, I'm going to secure it, but only for a moment, then take it off immediately. We don't want to scare them, and having a muzzle on is, at best, unusual for a dog and not likely something they will enjoy. You can see, with the muzzle being put on for the very first time, Envy decides perhaps she'd rather be somewhere else. Gentle redirection with a treat that she really enjoys refocuses her on the task, and we begin again. When putting on and securing the muzzle, use soft praise, but only when your dog is calm. It's important to not put the muzzle on for lengths of time at first. This entire video with Envy is less than three minutes, but it's a successful introductory muzzle session. And if I was really wanting to condition her to a muzzle, I'd do these mini muzzle sessions one to two times per day, gradually lengthening the amount of time for her to wear the muzzle. Now meet trainer Shelby with her dog, Oliver. He's been doing these mini muzzle sessions for a couple of weeks at this point, so he's pretty comfortable with it. Oliver doesn't much care about the muzzle because he's been properly conditioned to it. He waits politely for it to be put on and taken off. If your dog will allow you to secure the muzzle and not scratch it off for five or 10 seconds in the beginning, count that as a win and take the muzzle off immediately. The goal here is to allow your dog to become comfortable with the muzzle so it doesn't become a source of frustration or fear. Understand that muzzle training takes patience and understanding and practice. Go slow with your dog and allow them to set the pace in the beginning. If your dog does have a moment of becoming stressed or frustrated, don't be afraid to stay, take a step back in the process to where they're more comfortable and begin again. Good luck with your muzzle training. 